only driving through the state of New Jersey, which is not my favorite state. <laughs> uh, if you listen to my last stand-up special, I did uh, I did heavily make fun of New Jersey, uh, but uh, but how can you not? How can you not? You know, I feel like New Jersey and Florida; those are the two states where I feel I think everybody's just like, yeah, you gotta you gotta fuck with them states. You gotta make fun of them because you're because you're ridiculous. Um, I was I was just at a rest stop getting getting a little snack and uh, and some coffee for for the road and uh, outside very proudly it it said uh, uh, frozen yogurt now robotically served. I was like, what? Who is excited about this? <laughs> Like who is, who is, who is looking at it and be like, oh thank God, I was getting so tired of these people pulling levers on my frozen yogurt. Like, we went from we went from it had to be done by an employee, uh, and then to now like frozen yogurt places, you you get to make that determination for yourself, and you can like mix and match flavors and stuff. And now, now the robots, the robots are doing it. Uh, and, uh, and we're very excited, you know, they're addressing, I mean, that's the, the automation is already here. It's, it's already automating frozen yogurt's getting automated. Um, so, you know, what's next? You know, I don't know, but it's getting cold again, you guys. Uh, so I'm, I mean, I'm heading North, so I should, I should expect this. It's getting a little chillier. Uh, but it was like really nice out the last couple of days in terms of temperature. It was still kind of wet and gross. Uh, this past weekend, I was in Philadelphia with uh, opening for Lee Camp and Eleanor Goldfield at the Ruba Club. And super fun show. Sunday night was uh, exceptional. And it, it was like warm but kind of shitty still. Like, it was kind of rainy and wet and stuff. And now it's back to being chilly outside. Now it's kind of starting to feel a little bit more like winter. Like, I could have gotten away with just wearing this the, the hoodie I have on underneath um, and been fine. Uh, in fact, during the day, that's kind of what I did. Uh, and... You know, it's always like whenever I talk to people and I'm like, yeah, this is weird. Like, it's been such a warm winter. Like, we had a couple days where it was like in the 60s and 70s in Pittsburgh. And people were like, yeah, well, I mean, the, I mean, we're going to die. We're going to be dead, but at least we'll be comfortable. Huh? We'll be in shorts and skirts and crop tops and sleeveless tank tops. Wearing our backwards caps in January in Pittsburgh. It's like that's how we're gonna deal with uh, the impending climate crisis. Is we're gonna we're gonna talk about fashion trends. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna wear to your death? Are you gonna wear that flower frock as the world sets itself on fire? To possibly try to get rid of this virus that's spreading around. <laughs> I never understood that that argument. It's like, well, well, we're gonna die, but I guess we'll do it nice and comfy. Like, yeah, you know what's comfortable is like knowing seasons exist. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Like, consistent seasons. Like, when I get to January, I'm like, it is the winter time. Not, I guess it's kind of spring for a little bit now. But it could turn at any moment. And then everybody's like, well, this is just normal. No, it's not. No. I remember very consistently cold Januaries. Very consistently cold Januaries. It's dumb. All right, um... I just that was just a thought. I wanted to get the fu- get that out there because uh, I've been thinking about <laughs> just the just the notion of the 
the fashion trends that people want to throw for, you know, just just being complacent with climate change and the way they kind of delude themselves for it is just, uh, just, I'll dress nicely. It sure is nice. And it's like, yeah, well, what are you going to do whenever it's July? It's like 10 degrees outside. What, what's your what's your excuse for for normalcy there? Oh, do you think that the people uh, who live in Australia that had to deal with those uh, fires everywhere were just like, oh boy, now I can just I can go topless. It'll be great. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for an excuse to just go topless in our society. Boy, these wildfires—they're really helping out this these fashion goals I have. Like that's not. Uh. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably also enjoy my live stand-up comedy, and I have tour dates coming up all across the country. I am coming to uh, Vermont. I'm going to be doing a bunch of shows in Vermont. I'm going to be do at the Vermont Law School, uh, Middlebury, Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, uh, Bridgewater, Vermont. Uh, I'm also coming to Rochester, New York, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, Huntsville, Alabama, Springfield, Missouri, Fayetteville, Arkansas, Springdale, Arkansas, uh, uh, Denton, Texas, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Austin, Texas, and Dallas, Texas. I'm going to be touring all across the country, so if you want to check out those tour dates, grab your tickets, RSVP to these events, uh, you can do so by going to ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. All of my tour dates are available there. Uh, all of the past episodes of this show, my other podcast, Taboo Table Talk and Forkful of Noodles, are available there as well, uh, if you would like to check out more. Uh, and please uh, hit, the, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, uh, get your notifications uh, to get updated when I put out more videos uh if you guys would 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 like to see more videos from me uh obviously uh but uh but videos like this videos that talk about issues that talk about um deeper topics are usually uh not shown to as many people uh as they would so uh it's uh, very dependent on you guys uh hitting that like hitting the subscribe and and sharing it if you can uh if you share this stuff that would be amazing as well uh, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate you guys watching this video and checking it out. And we'll uh, we'll see you on the road.